The bottom line is here, we need more Americans vaccinated and polling shows Republicans are still more hesitant than Democrats or independents to get a shot. Well, now longtime political pollster Frank Luntz is working with focus groups to try to find out why. A lot of it has to do with messaging. He says more Republicans would be more likely to get the vaccine if they heard more about the benefits of getting it rather than the consequences of not. Frank Luntz joins us now. Frank, vaccination rates are, are slowing down. Getting more Republicans to get their shots could potentially save thousands of lives. What can officials do to help make that happen? And getting more younger women vaccinated will save thousands of lives. And getting those people who are hesitant in the black and Latino communities will save lives. Absolutely. I think the key, the key in all of this is to get your doctor, your pharmacist, the people who know you the best. And the more that we interact, the more that we combine the, uh, the medical professionals with the people who they serve every single day, the more people are going to get vaccinated. You know, they've got these great PSA campaigns that you've got uh, Hollywood celebrities, you've got notable people saying get vaccinated. The truth is, based on our research, nothing does better than your own doctor making the call, sending you a video saying, hey, I got vaccinated, so should you. And please correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding was you've been doing focus groups specifically with Republicans, and that was why we're focusing on that group that is hesitant. But I, I appreciate your point that there are other groups, too, that have vaccine hesitancy that we've been reporting on as well. I do want to get more of the insights you've learned through your conversations, because I know throughout the pandemic, we've heard messaging that the government's response has taken away your freedoms, whether it be the masks, not being able to go to restaurants, etc. That is a big sticking point you found, right? Absolutely. And the key to messaging is it's what you get. The De Beaumont Foundation came to us and they said, use your messaging skills and figure out what will actually motivate people. So let me give you three examples. Number one, if they find out that 90 percent of doctors or more than 90 percent have been vaccinated, that's the single strongest statistic. Number two, you do the positive, not the negative. It's what you get back. It's how you get to go, go back to your life. And I'll give you an example. Uh, relationships. Grandkids can't see their grandparents and vice versa. The idea that you're going to be able to talk to your grandkids uh, to sleep at night, that you're going to be able to enjoy your family again. That's the second most powerful uh, impact. And third, the if you want to return to normal, this is all that's required. That in the end, be responsible, do what's right for yourself, do what's right for others. You don't have to be forced into it. Don't do the mandates. The government should not be saying to people, you must do this. We should be saying to each other, just as your show is doing right now, it's the right thing to do for you and for the people you love. Frank, there's been a lot of talk lately about vaccine passports when we talk about you know, getting life back to normal. But how does you know, vaccine passports, how does that factor into your focus group conversations? Oh, it's been awful. We got polling data for you and I'm you're probably showing it to your audience right now. It's the worst way to communicate what you've got because uh, Republicans look at this as just another government mandate. Democrats look at it and say, but people don't have access to passports if you're not as well off or you're not as educated, that, that, that it doesn't mean anything to anyone. It should have been a vaccine verification. We know that if it gives you the right to travel, it gives you the ability to return back to normal, people will do it voluntarily. But a passport is exclusive for some people or a government mandate for others, and so it doesn't work. I was really angry that this phrase took off because it actually prevents or discourages people from getting vaccinated. And that's my key message to you. Rather than demonize those who haven't been vaccinated, let's celebrate those who have. Hmm. I like that. And I appreciate you sharing all that with us. I think it's so useful. Thanks for being here, and I, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We'll talk to you soon as you continue these focus groups because there's a lot to learn.